Hey y'all, I'm coming in this morning to talk to you about uh, identifying your transfer case. We're still working on a 1977 K10 square body truck for a friend of mine. Uh, we've done a couple videos on it. You can check out on my channel. What we're talking about right now is, is how you identify the transfer case. We've done a bunch of work to it and I've got to do a little bit of work. I got some leaks and stuff to fix on the transfer case and I got to get parts. So how do I know what to ask for? All right, the first way to identify is always go by the tag. But a lot of times the tag will be right here on these old new processes and it's gone. And that happens with a lot of old vehicles. That's just part of the game. So we got to know another way to identify it. So what do I do? I know they had 203, 205, and 208 transfer case they could have used in these year model vehicles. Well, the 208 is all aluminum. So that's out. This one's this not all aluminum. The 205 is all cast iron. It's probably the best transfer case ever made. It's in a lot of one tons and up. I really didn't expect it to be in this truck, but it could be. You know, somebody could have swapped around because 205 is the best transfer case ever made that's ever rolled out the assembly line. And, you know, people saw it after them and they put them in their trucks. But I want to be sure. So a 203 is, comes in four sections. One, two, three, four. So this is a 203. Another thing to look for is the first front two are cast iron, rear two are aluminum. So obviously you got four sections, the back two is aluminum. So that's a 203. Another dead giveaway you can look at, sometimes this is the best way to look in the truck because you know when you're just, a lot of times you have an output shaft seal leaking or something back here and you know you really can't see everything is good. There's six bolts, one, two, three, and then around the bottom, you got, anyway, you got six bolts on this extension housing on the 205 would only have three so there's some there's just some good ways to look some good tips to look if you want to know what i what transfer your case you got or if you're in a junkyard looking and you want to buy one um just keep in mind if you if you do go to a junkyard or if you see one somebody's got some parts and they're they're you know they're advertising they got a 205 transfer case, right. 205 transfer case but if you want to use it in anything other than a ford you want to drop down on this side a Ford, it's going to be, you know, this is the top, and you want to drop down on this side because, uh, you know, the Ford's rear end or, or differential is on the driver's side where everybody else uses it on the passenger side. So that's just a good thing. That's just a good way to tell if you're looking, you know, if you're looking at parts or looking at, you know, sometimes I buy stuff out of the back of a truck and you just need to know these kind of things. All right. Hope that helps somebody.